I can't believe you really tried to shoot him though, like. Yeah, that wouldn't be funny. At all. Hey guys, it is us Norway's back to watch another episode of Batman the Animated Series, the last one. This one is titled Mad Love. I'm pretty sure this is a Joker episode with Harley Quinn. Uh, <laughs> how, how do you know? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. We just saw it, whatever. But uh, yeah, man, it's the last one. Uh, I don't know what this one is about. Uh, I was told it's on one of the, the big lists of one of the top favorite episodes in the series. So here as we go. Hey, man, remember this ain't no market substitute for the actual Batman the Animated ser Series. You can watch it on HBO Max. That's where I think you should go instead of Amazon because it's actually looking really nice on there. Damn. Even though it's completely out of order. Can you do that? Is that okay? You can do that? I mean, I'm sorry, but it looks really, really nice on there. It's just out of fucking order, which I don't understand, but it is what it is. Hey, Amazon, you suck. Amazon, you just. Damn! Damn. <laughs> this is free, this is free uh, marketing research for you. Yeah, you're, Thank you you're for in your space, though. Thank you for but space. hey, we all good. Remember, remember uh, if you want to check out our uncut of this, please check out our Patreon. If not, please comment, like, subscribe. And uh, have a great day, have a small day, and uh, do good like Batman would. And, and just in case you missed the last reaction, this is the final episode of Batman that we're watching. If that caught you by surprise just now, and if you want to know why, watch the intro discussion of the last, last, one. last episode. Oh, look at Gotham. Yeah. I've never seen the shot of, like, the city. Hey, man, it made Chicago look just like that when Bane pulled up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one was also written by Paul, <laughs> Paul Dini, who wrote the last one. Good job. That's what we should have used it. Have a seat. I'll be right with you. If it weren't part of the police physical, I wouldn't be here at all. What in this miserable world is more beautiful than a nice big smile? You look so weird with your makeup. Don't like this. this the look at yeah, joke. I don't like, how he looks <laughs> don't like the look at his joke. He looked better in the in the original episodes. He He's a little older too. I'm afraid everything will have to go. Jesus. No, fuck that man. If I was underneath, the, like, no. What the fuck? It was an easy hint, Joker. Predictable. Mm -hmm. You're losing your edge. Damn! Damn. <laughs> but the teeth were my idea. That's a real gasser, huh, Mr. J? <laughs> Mr. J. I give the punchlines around here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Batsy, it's oh, been damn. a book, as always. May the floss be with you. <laughs> no! <laughs> May the force be with you! <laughs> uh, Mark Hamill, that's awesome. Oh, that's all on Mark Hamill did it too! Dude, I love that. They're good with those subtle, really subtle references. Checkups. <laughs> <laughs> like OJ Simpson yeah. last episode. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> me likey. Oh shit, this is sexual. <laughs> Pay attention to me. <laughs> it's like a cat. Go away, I'm busy. Oh, come on, Gordon. Don't you want to rev up your Harley? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn. <laughs> Batman got to him when he said you're losing your touch. His feelings hurt. Yeah, his feelings. That setup today was cold. Call that. The death of Batman must be nothing less than a masterpiece. The triumph of my sheer comic genius over his ridiculous mask and gadgets. You're not a fan. Here's what I forgot. The death of a hundred smiles. I lure Batman to a secret lair, then bang, plop him into my specially prepared piranha tank. Piranha. <laughs> <laughs> it's a like, yeah. It's so extra. Now I remember why I scrapped this plan. Piranhas can't smile. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> he just wants to like. Oh my God. God. <laughs> This is like um, exploring the mental of Harley Quinn. Yeah. Well, I've always had an attraction for extreme personalities. <gasps> They're more exciting, more challenging, and more high profile. Damn. Kids this makes me want to play the Arkham game again. I'll warn you right now. This is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Was that the bomb maker guy? Fuck. Remember that episode we saw where the guy just made the bombs? Is that him? Yeah. They eat a novice like you for breakfast. Oh, she like him. Man, this is, like, this yeah, is just like the uh, waitress with McNulty. Eh? <laughs> the wire. What the fuck? Mr. Yeah, how'd, how'd you do that? <laughs> Are they showing a Harley Quinn story again? Yeah. Yeah. Did we see it before? Yeah, she was. She, I think she that she used to work 
And then he kind of just pulled her, used him to spring her, right? He got he used her to spring him. I don't think we've seen it yet in the show. You know, sweets, I like what I've heard about you, especially the name, Harley Quinzel. Rework it a bit, and you get Harley Quinn. Like the clown character Harlequin. I've heard it before. It's a name that puts a smile on my face. Let's put a smile on that face. Smile on that face. And, I, and I'm stupid. This is what they did in Birds of Prey. I'm sorry. They yeah. tell the story in Birds of Prey. Which was a good movie, I liked it. It was pretty good. I studied all his tricks and gimmicks and felt I was ready for anything. My father used to beat me up pretty badly. Anything except that. There was only one time I ever saw Dad really happy. He took me to the circus when I was seven. He lies <laughs> dropping the... That hand. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Very next night, I ran out to meet him with his best Sunday pants around my ankles. Hi, Dad! Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> and then he broke my nose. <laughs> Jesus. That's the downside of comedy. You're always taking shots from folks who just don't get the joke. <laughs> Soon became clear to me that the Joker, so often described as a raving homicidal madman, was actually a tortured soul crying out for love and acceptance. No, bro, I think that actually happened to him. He's a master manipulator. You're not Especially if you watch the, the, the Joaquin Phoenix movie. You, like You're not supposed to know his backstory. That's the whole point of the Joker. For real? Yeah, he's, he's supposed to be very ambiguous. Like he's, You're not supposed to really know anything about where, where he came from. As it sounds, I have fallen in love with my patient. As a dedicated, career-oriented young woman, you felt the need to abstain from all amusement and fun. It's only natural you'd be attracted to a man who could make you laugh again. Holy... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Bro, look at the cups. They're they're bat shaped. <laughs> Marking you on point again. Dude, you look crazy, girl. Hold your shit together. Oh, it started. It, it started. This is when it began right here. Like, it don't started, make it so obvious. It started from day one. I love the coloring in that tunnel. How like the cells are orange and like she's in blue. Superman. You see the yeah. Superman outfit? Yeah. Didn't even pay. Damn! Whoa. Holy shit. I, I guess she got super strength too. Yeah, I don't fight all of a sudden. <laughs> it was love. Good lord. <laughs> With a rubber chicken. <laughs> Worst security system ever. Knock knock for to say hello to your new improved Harley Quinn. Wow. Damn. I mean, a legend is born. From this show, it's crazy that this show created her. Seems like we would live happily ever after. But that'll never happen as long as there's a Batman around it's to hilarious. torment my pudding. Sad, actually. She's like manipulated by him. Uh, see, I don't see, that's why I think it's maybe it was a real backstory, though. Nah, I don't believe it. No joke. Mr. J's gone off his nut for real. Because you stopped him from killing Gordon, he said he's gonna take out the whole city. I finally realized this isn't funny oh. anymore. I can help you get him if you promise me protection. Wow, you is crazy, girl. Joker's not gonna like her trying to do this on her own. Or else. Anyway. No, he wants to kill him in a big dramatic way. Unless, She's taking that away from him. Unless this is part of the plan. If what you say is true, the police will... Traitor! No one turns story on me and lives. Probably gun? Holy shit. Damn, is he bucking him? Yeah. Damn! <laughs> Wow. It was her? Oh my god. That's impressive. That's impressive. That's impressive. She Dexter Morgan to death. Dude, Joker's gonna be mad he's ta she's taking this away from him. Yeah. yeah. It's not cool, man. I mean, she's just trying to get his attention. He's he's, he's a fucked up dude. What do you mean? This is not gonna get his attention. The piranhas <laughs> on you know, the, the plan he doesn't even want. It's just me, B man. No joker, no gas bombs, no city in peril. Just <laughs> you, that tank, and me. <laughs> <laughs> to show Mr. J I could really pull off one of his plans. See, he could never get these fishies to smile. No. But then I had the bright idea of hanging the victim upside down. That way, to you, it'll look like they're smiling. Wow, wow. <laughs> 
were. I actually enjoyed some of our romps. But there comes a time when a gal wants more. And now all this gal wants is to settle down with her loving right. sweetheart. Now you fucking up my sex life, Batman. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is even gonna, even if they get rid of Batman, that's not gonna make their relationship happy. No. The Joker doesn't love anything except himself. Ooh. He had you pegged for a hired help the minute you walked into Arkham. Mm -hmm. No! He told me things, secret things he never told anyone. Was it his line about the abuse of uh, father? Ah, you're right. Or the one about the runaway mom? Fool me, dude. I know, it sounds true. You know, that's why he's fucked up. There was only one time. I ever saw dad really happy. Ooh. He took me to the ice show when I was seven. Same shit, pretty much. Circus said it was the that circus. Dad is so good. Mickey, you just said this. You're wrong. My foot does love me. It does. You're the problem. And now you're going to die and make everything right. <laughs> Except you'll never believe you did it. Huh? He's so good sure. at mind games. Yeah. <laughs> He's secretly playing mind games. Yeah. He, want, he wanted her to call him. Yeah, where the heck have you been? Hmm? Oh. Yeah, yeah, Batman, eh? <laughs> you have who tied up where? <laughs> <laughs> Purple Lamborghini. <laughs> he took off in his Batmobile. Yeah. He was so thrilled he could hardly He's mad. He's gonna let Batman go. That's pretty she's sad. Alive. Damn. I didn't get the joke. That's so sad. That's so yeah. sad, bro. She really is a victim of domestic abuse, man. For real? Yeah. Oh, no, that's straight abuse right there. <laughs> you know what they say, a bat in the hand is worth two in the belfry. <laughs> oh, the piranhas get nice. used! Nice. I can't believe he really tried to shoot him, though. Like, Yeah, that wouldn't be funny. At all. Real funny, Batman. That is <laughs> <laughs> <That's> his... <laughs> Use his teeth to fucking get out of that bitch. <laughs> really funny, Batman. Dude, how are you God like damn. this? Whoa. How are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> that was never gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> he's the best villain. Even if he's fucked up and a domestic abuser. And legs chained, dizzy from the blood rushing to my head. <laughs> he's just there. Fuck instant transmission me! This is never cool. allow anyone else the honor of killing me. Though I have to admit she came a lot closer than you ever did. Oh! Oh! Uh oh, they're scrapping straight up. Oh, you can hear the rib oh. crunch. Fuck he got bricks in his gloves? Like Maybe he's got brass knucks on underneath. Dude! Uh, go check on that Batman. Check on Harley. Well, she did. Nah. Though the Joker has been notorious for resurfacing when least expected, it seems unlikely that he has survived his latest brush with Batman. Oh, damn. Never again. No more obsession. No more craziness. They're about to be neighbors, aren't they? They will come and get her out, probably. Maybe. No more Joker. I finally see that slime for what he is. A murderous, manipulative, irredeemable, <laughs> you pushed her out the window! Angel! No, that's so terribly sad. Shh, you pushed her, <laughs> he did this to you! So, uh, like, you know, Jared Leto, Leto being the way he was during Joker, I, I mean, there's no excuse for it, but, like, I can see where his mindset went because, like. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't really abusive in that movie. They, cut, he, they cut all those scenes yeah, out. Yeah, there, they, were, there were supposed to be scenes where he was like slapping the shit out of him. They took it out. They took it out. Okay. They were like, people are going to be upset about this. Even though 
they should not have t- taken that out yeah. because it, it literally highlights their issue, their yeah. main relationship. Yeah, I feel like they, really should, they should really, really touch on the domestic abuse part because, like, I'm not going to lie, as a kid, I remember seeing it and feeling weird about it because, like, you know, you as a kid, you're taught never to hit a girl. You know what yeah. I mean? You see, like, Joker hit a girl and just be like... like straight back. Oh, yeah, straight up. Push like, out a window, like, bro. Oh, yeah, it's, it's very abusive, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if, if I was in an abusive household and I saw that shit, that shit would fuck with me, you know? But... They showed it, and like you know, that's kind of the way he was towards her. You know, he was very like manipulative. He's very. He, he was she, she ended bad. up. In, she ended up in his therapy. She was supposed to study. Yeah, him. I mean, like, like it took like maybe one session, then she was on the couch. Yeah, yeah like, and then it did sound like that was true. Like he had an abusive father or some shit. Or and, uh, uh, even in the Dark Knight, when every time he was yeah. like, hey, "I don't know how I got these scars," it, like, the story was different every single time. Every time. Every time. Yeah. The only only I think like medium out there, like of media up there with the Joker that actually kind of touches on his origin story, probably Gotham. Gotham, you know, the kid from the Shameless. Yeah, he played like a younger. Oh, I heard he did really. Yeah, good. he did really. Really fucking good, but like there's yeah. an origin story behind that, and it includes him. It's actually pretty dope, but like. Yeah. And I guess also uh, Joaquin Phoenix's, but that's that's a totally different Joker. I like that one. But uh, yeah. man, Harley, <clears throat> that was sad. Joker's a dick. <laughs> but it's also an example of like at the end, like she almost changed, and then all he had to do was do one minor, yeah. minor nice thing, and then it's like the like people in abusive relationships it's, it's not just like they can just leave because like yeah they're always susceptible to come back yeah. yeah and it's like it's like the cycle of like oh forgiving him oh he loves me he's just doing it out of like yeah. love and then it's like an irrational uh explanation like, of it or justification yeah. people that like do abuse like they, they go extremes in both directions like they'll extremely abuse a person and then they'll extremely take care of them you know what i mean yeah. like it to to keep them on the hook it goes, it's pretty fucked up very fun yeah, though. see, that's why I'm upset that, like, this this series introduced Harley Quinn, literally gave us all this backstory of her, including this complex relationship dynamic. It's such an integral part of her relationship, like, how she was abused by Joker and, like, kind of manipulated into that. I wish they had not cut it out of Suicide Squad. Yeah. Like, that would have made that movie so much greater, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Yeah, it's, I mean, some people just, you know, bro, we're in a very big Me Too pandering and yeah, but like in my opinion, that yeah. like highlights issues. Like at, it's like not for, bad to talk I don't know. About like it. they cut it because I guess they thought people would be upset. But it's like no one's cheering for that. Yeah, like, no, no you one's... have to show it to like bring uh, focus to the problem. Yeah, because in, in a lot of part, a lot of the thing, I mean, we we tend to forget a little bit how Joker was in the show. Because like when the Dark Knight came out, we looked at Joker as like a very like villainous, heinous guy. You know what I mean? Like uh, he was a mercenary. In yeah, movie. mercenary. Um, oh my god, I'm fucking forgetting his name. The guy that played that, he, he Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger did a great job yeah. of just portraying that version of Joker. But like the Joker that we see in the cartoons and when that Mark Hamill does with the relationship with Harley. It's something that, like, I feel like only a few of us remember. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, and that's what's amazing about the Joker character is every single iteration of him is, like, so different yeah. from everything else. Because, like, his his character having no clear backstory, you can do Whatever you anything want. with that character, but keep it consistent to what he is. And that that's why I think actors really love going all in on that character because there, it's just... It's easy. Like, it's easy. I watched like a, a YouTube particular. clip of Michael Jai White talking about like Heath Ledger, like how he consistently just asked everybody all the time. He tried different voices. He pitched it every mm-hmm. single day, every scene. He'd come up to the guy, the, like the team, and ask him, "How does this sound? How does this look?" Because he was trying to make it his mm-hmm. own. He, mm-hmm. he got that. He completely embodied the idea of making the Joker your, your own. I yeah. mean, the Joker himself is the only character to win an Oscar, like for actors. Two actors won an Oscar for the same role, same role. comic book role. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not heard of very often. Yeah. 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 How many guys have won Oscars for being Batman? Uh, Crickets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crickets. Yeah. Yeah. Crickets. Yeah. Crickets. Yeah. Crickets. Yeah. Yeah. Did George Clooney not win? That was funny. <laughs> That suit nipples. Uh, I think the nipple suit won before. Uh, yeah, that, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, but this was a good episode. Like in the beginning, you got to see here Mark Hamill go the floss be with you. He said. The floss be with you. Yeah, yeah, Mark Hamill even award you for voice of the Joker after like his ass. Pretty sure he did. Like, Kevin Conroy. Probably. Probably. I know this is like the last outing with Batman the animated series, but I don't think it could be said enough that this is quintessential Batman. This is quintessential Joker. This is quintessential Bruce mm-hmm. Wayne. Like everything that modern Batman is now, I think owes credit to this show oh, and the ideas that they brought forth. 
Yeah. And like, you know, being complex for a kid's show. Like, this this was a kid's show, but it's, it was like... It was a, not a kid's show. It was an adult kid's show. Yeah. 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 It, was, it was not a kid's show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not. A young, young teen. <laughs> young teen. <laughs> young adults. Yeah, young adult show. Yes. Because, uh, like, it got... Like, I noticed the season went on, bro. It got violent, bro. Yeah. It, like, yeah. it, was, it got really violent. <laughs> yeah. Showing blood and stuff that wasn't Ooh, there at first. Like, like they have a gun in Batman's face. They grew up with the little kids, you know? Yeah. Like, you guys should be around middle school now, so we're going to get a little bit more gory, okay? Exactly. Yeah. Batman's great. Like, no, I like how he knew he'd have to call a Joker to save his life. Because, like... And how he threw in Joker's face, like, she got closer to me than you ever will. Like, that was a good <sighs> diss. We should react to the original Batman movies Batman and uh, Batman. Mask of the Phantasm. Phantasm. Uh, guys, yeah, sound off of the movies that we can watch because movies are always a possibility. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, this is our last DC animated show. Maybe in the future, I don't know. Make noise. Make noise, you know, if you yeah, really want us to come nice. back to this. But this was fun. I'm glad we maybe, did Maybe, no promises, but maybe, you know, we might sit down for some select episodes. But, mm-hmm. yeah, this was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed Everything we got to watch, I'm, I'm probably gonna keep watching just on my own time because it was very nostalgic. Yeah, it was very. I, I like that we jumped to season three and did our own episodes for these last two because like it was a big jump in animation, storytelling, everything. And it was just it was very very nostalgic. Yeah, I, I had a good time. Thank, Thank you for being with us, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching Batman with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. Special shout out to our super patrons, Saqif, Clayton, Harry MacFan, Explorin' Dylan, Aaron, Mr. Momus, Joe Mags, Nicola, Canyon, ZJP, Nick, Keyboard Junkie. We'll see you all next time.